Hey, what's up my creative pros? Welcome back to the next video. Now this is all about the Stream Deck. Now if you didn't see the first unboxing and setup, I would definitely go check out that video and then come back to this one. But now that I've actually got the Stream Deck set up, the MK2, if you will, and you can tell by just the stand that you have here, this is the MK2, a really, really amazing device. Like I said in my last video, amazing buttons, amazing feel, and each of these buttons is actually LED, has a little, I'm sorry, LCD. It actually has a animation on this button specifically, which is the welcome button. But I wanna get this thing set up and I wanna walk you guys through what I'm gonna do. This is my first time ever using it, so I'm trying to keep this short, but it may take a little bit longer for us to really dial this in and set up our first home screen. So that's my goal for this video is to set up our home screen. If you have one of these and you're just trying to get some ideas of how to set it up, you can follow what I'm gonna do. I already have a good idea in mind. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the Stream Deck interface here. You can see here I have this welcome button in the center, and then I have on the right-hand side inside the program that I opened up, I have this entire control center. So I know that they have templates, they have all kinds of different things that you can do here within the program, tool tips and all that, but we can set this up to do whatever we want. We have endless options. So you got Twitch, which I can just minimize that for now. You got your control center, you can battery, setting color, adjusting temperature, all these different things in the control center, off and on, change the name in Twitter, multimedia, so you have websites, hotkey switch, a bunch of hotkeys. So we use hotkeys a lot in design, which we'll talk about in another video. Opening a window, um, so that can be an app, a file, or a folder. Now, the big thing that I want you to understand in this video, and this machine, this little device here that we have, is an incredible, it's probably the best productivity tool that you're gonna find in the Stream Deck. I haven't seen anything else out there like it. Now there's another company that makes something similar, but it's a little different. This right here is the ultimate productivity tool. I think it's the best tool for 2022. And there are five things that I wanna cover with you that this thing does that you can implement into your business, into your day-to-day -day life, or maybe if you're just a freelancer. So the first one is automation. Automation is obviously very important. We can automate tasks, we can automate our lighting, we can automate our studio. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that we can automate and use this device to do that. The second thing, and it's the most common because it's in the name is streaming. So you can do video streaming, you can do audio streaming, you can do gaming, you can stream games. So there's a lot that you can do there using third-party programs like Twitch and OBS. So there's a lot that goes into that. Editing, that's what I'm gonna be using this primarily for myself with Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, um, Adobe Illustrator, we're gonna make videos on all this stuff on how to use it inside of the Stream Deck, which is gonna be a lot of fun, so stay tuned for those. And the next one is browsing. So browsing is obviously something that I do a lot as I'm researching, looking at other companies. I can have it hit one button and it'll open up all of the main programs that I use in my browser with one click of a button. It's pretty neat that you can do this and you can do this in one click. And then the last one, which is productivity, is gonna be really important for you saving a lot of time. So having a button where you can hit and actually go into your email auto responses and you can hit one button and send them a template in your email so you don't have to type it all out. You can create templates, send them there and then just hit send. And you can do the, all of that from the Stream Deck. You can have custom live chat messages, you can actually open files, you can open apps, you can just so much that you can do folders on your computer. You can basically control it to do anything. You can teach it to open up anything you want. So productivity, automation, streaming, editing, uh, and so if you want a really good tool, I would definitely check out the Stream Deck. I'm gonna be getting to familiar with it here and we're gonna jump in and actually set this thing up for the first time. So let's see here, what, what options do I have? Stream Deck, create a folder, switch profiles, so you can create multiple profiles, multi-action. So I wanna do first is create multi-actions. You can even set a timer, okay? So here's drag an action and drop it right here. So I need to find an action. So what I could do is I could say a website and a website. And so every time I, I hit this button on my computer and I can change, I can put the title in here. So let's just say I wanted to open up Google Docs. So I go docs.google.com. In fact, I'm just gonna put Google Docs. And then I can go HTTPS www.docs.google.com. There you go. So that's one, and I can even change the icon for this guy. So you just hit the little corner thing here. Oh, I can add one. So you're just gonna drag and drop it. Um, let's see here. And then the next one would be um, another common website. I just wanna bring up my own website and make sure that it's working. So adrianagency.com. And I'm just gonna put HTTPS. 
adrianagency.com. There we go. And we'll add the icons later. Oh, here we go. Here's where you add the icons. So you hit here, yeah, icon library, and you just say website. You can do all kinds of stuff, but then I wanna title this icon. So uh, it lets me upload a custom one. So the title of this icon is going to be work, or just put agency. I'll just put agency in here. There we go. The next most popular thing I think I'm gonna end up using is the open button. And that open button is gonna be specifically for opening Photoshop. So I'm gonna put it in Photoshop in here. You can see that text. I like it in all caps. It actually looks really nice. What is this? Oh, there you go. This is interesting. So it lets you change the text. It gives you some really good customization. So go Photoshop. Photoshop. There we go. I don't even need to have the text to be honest. You don't need it. I could probably take it out of this one too. Just have the icon. All right, so I got my first one here, which is the agency launch of just going to the web. Then I'm gonna create a second one here that's gonna launch. And the, what I want it to launch is my Photoshop program. So I gotta go choose. I can go into applications. I can go over here into Photoshop 2022, hit open. Boom, and we'll take that text out of it. We don't need that. There we go. And now I have Photoshop. Now I can change this icon, obviously. Hit set from file. Then I can go to my desktop, and then here's the one that I downloaded. Boom. See, now it already changes on here. So I'm gonna do that for my main programs. I use uh, Photoshop a lot. I use Illustrator, which will be the next one. So let me go ahead and click on this, and we'll hit uh, open Illustrator. Now remember, if I wanted to open up all of my programs at once, I can create one of those multi-actions that you saw down here. Actually, it was a little further up, I think. Yeah, here, multi-action switch. So I can actually click that and then it'll open Photoshop, Illustrator, all those at once. But I'm gonna create some icons right now just for an example uh, of setting up my system. So we're gonna go ahead and hit open on here and we're just gonna do, we got two of these now. So we're gonna choose Illustrator, go back to Applications, Adobe Illustrator 2022. There we go, just select that. Boom, and I'll take out the text again. We don't need it, there we go. And then it's launching Illustrator. And then the next one, look at it already pulled in the icon for me, which is great. And then next one here is gonna be Premiere. Since I use Premiere pretty often, we go here to Applications, Adobe Premiere 2022. That one, open, boom. Now let's give it a, just a test drive. I want you guys to see this because I'm not gonna be able to have time probably to set all of this up. Uh, I'll show you every single one that I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna get this done and then I'll show you at the end what I ended up creating. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hit Photoshop. Boom, there it is. I can hit Illustrator. There's Photoshop. All loaded up. Illustrator's loading, and then I can hit Premiere too. So I got my three main programs that I use there in the top row, as well as if I hit the main globe, it's gonna open up Adrian Agency. Look at that, it got some little green check mark, so it tells you that it's working. Boom, there's Adrian Agency. Website that I wanted it to launch, and it launched Google Docs like I asked it to. All right, so I wanna add some more stuff to this, but I just realized I made a mistake, you guys. We're human, right? So I need to go in here and I actually need to add in and change this one. So this right here, see multi-action switch? This is not gonna work for what I want. Now, if I was trying to open up and turn, turn lights on and then turn on a browser, that would be a different thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and we're gonna restart real quick. I'm gonna grab the right one, which is multi-action here. Grab that in there. Now I can add those websites that we talked about. So we're gonna launch these websites right here. One, two, three. Okay, we did three last time. I'll probably do a fourth one just in case. And then this first website is going to be https www.docs.google.com because I use that one all the time. This next one's going to be https gmail.com. It's another one I use all the time. The next one will be https uh, slides.google.com because I'm almost in that every day. And then the last one we'll do is HTTPS. I want to make sure that my website's always up. So Adrian, whoops, agency.com. There we go. And then if I really wanted to, I could check and I can add one more and I can add Instagraphics. So go to Instagraphics.com and I need to make sure HTTPS. There we go. Okay, so I have all of these actions in here. Let's go ahead and give this one a try after we add an icon. Let's see here. 
we want to, oh, we're going to go back. There we go. Okay, so we got this multi-action button. We're going to go ahead and click here. And in the icon library, which is nice because they have so many, so many styles, we can say launch, maybe? Launch. That's kind of cool. Start your day off. I want to make it match the other ones. There we go. I like that. So I got the little launch icon. So now every time I start my day, I can just hit the button and it'll load those five programs. Look at that, instagraphics.com, talked about our program. There we go, I just loaded them all. Pretty neat, right? So this is a really good start. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up and then we'll continue on. All right, so I wanted to create my first ever setup and I did. I've got all 14 icons because I have the main home screen. I think I could probably add one even there. Uh, but I got all the icons in there. I got everything set up. I have my crypto, I have my calculator. It's literally unlimited and it's kind of overwhelming to be honest of what you can do with this thing. The automations, IFTTT, linking it with Alexa, taking screenshots. That's gonna be one of the common ones that I use here is if you see my screen, I'm gonna hit the screenshot button and it's actually gonna do a, oh, this is a screen recording. So I can actually have it set up automatically to do a screen recording or I can just have it cancel that. Let's see here, there it goes. So you can have it do screen recording. I have a timer here. You can see here up on my right hand side, 30 second timer. You can adjust this to whatever you want. Calculator, it'll pop open my calculator. Save me a lot of time than having to click all around. I even have it to where it opens up Zoom. So I can click the Zoom program. It'll open it up. I can create a new window and then I can even mute and unmute my mic. Let me go ahead and do this real quick here. You can see here we wanna get Zoom added in here. Zoom's already selected, so I don't know why I was doing that. But so you can see here, I can log in and I'll even be able to create all kinds of things with Zoom. I can go back and I have that as a folder. And then I have Photoshop, Illustrator, Audition, and Premiere. These are common programs that'll launch those. So you can use this as a launcher. You can use this as a quick little productivity tool. You can use it to edit. So I'm gonna do one specifically for Photoshop in another video, one for Illustrator in another video. You can see how I can use this specific Stream Deck for each of these things. This thing is gonna be one of my main tools. I can already tell you, if you want something that will uncap your creativity and speed up your process and have a, something you can do that you can have a lot of fun with, check out the Stream Deck. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was something helpful for you. And if you love this, make sure you check out the next video. I'll post it up in the tag above when that comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boycell. I'll see you on the next video. And make sure that if you like this video, hit the like and hit the subscribe so you can get notified of other videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, I'm Adrian Boycell, and as always, keep looking up.